लेप्रोस्कोपिक कंप्लीशन रेडिकल कोलेसिस्टेक्टमी आफ्टर लेप्रोस्कोपिक कोलेसिस्टेक्टमी वी प्रेजेंट ए स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच ऑफ ए 67 सेवन ईयर्स ओल्ड मेल हु हैड प्रेजेंटेड विद कोलेथियासिस लेप्रोस्कोपिक कोलेसिस्टेक्टमी डन द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ क्रिटिकल व्यू ऑफ सेफ्टी इज ऑलवेज इंफेसाइज सिस्टिक आर्टरी एंड सिस्टिक डक्ट वर स्केलेटनाइज बिफोर क्लिपिंग द स्ट्रक्चर्स सिस्टिक आर्टरी टेकन विद द हेल्प ऑफ हार्मोनिक एस सिस्टिक डक्ट clips two clips on three clips on to the cbd side and one clip on to the gallbladder side and gallbladder dissected off the cystic plate with the help of harmonic ace the biopsy revealed that patient had poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma cystic duct margin was free of tumor and patient was taken up for completion radical cholecystectomy on day 10 of the previous surgery first port the opti view is placed supra umbilically and two ports are placed on the right of the midline and two on the left of the midline the right subcostal port is used for nathanson liver retractor the left subcostal port is used for applying the clips when we are doing the liver dissection it can this operation can be divided into two major steps first step is taking care of all the fibro fatty tissue in the hepato duodenal ligament and step 2 would be wedge resection of the liver 2 cm all around the gallbladder fossa in step 1 we use the harmonic 1000 i hd why because it has got the jaws which are just like maryland dissector and one can take the larger size 7 mm vessels also with the harmonic hd i integrated hand piece system aim is to take off all the fibro fatty tissues from the three important structures in the porta hepatis the one the hepatic artery common and proper the portal vein and the common bile duct so all the lymph nodes from supra duodenal supra pancreatic area are dissected off with the help of harmonic 1000 i hd going step by step when we are working close to the artery for example in this situation we are working close to the gastro duodenal artery and common hepatic artery further going up into hepatic artery proper trick is to remain close to the tunica adventitia and when we are reaching the hilar plate one should be very very careful that we do not cause any injury to the left hepatic artery and right hepatic artery all the fibro fatty tissue is dissected off the artery 
and endeavor would be to dissect the portal vein in such a manner that one is able to free even the fibrophatic tissue in the retro portal area. Initially, most of the surgeons would believe that only open surgery one can remove the retro portal fibrophatty tissue, but with increasing experience, one can take by laparoscopy also and take off the retro portal vein lymph nodes and the fibrophatty tissue. Again and again, emphasis is on knowing the anatomy well. And as one is working close to the vascular structures, taking care of all the fibrofatty tissue with only one instrument and that is a harmonic HDI 1000. Ascending up and are able to see the left hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery. This is the gastroduodenal artery. Again, the dissection has been done in the posterior aspect of the porta hepatis also. Aim would be that once we are able to take all the fibro fatty tissue, then place that into the endo back, remove it and block. Or there is another method of taking the fibro fatty tissue by open book method. Means as if we are opening the book of the fibro fatty tissue and dissect it off from the portal vein area also. One can appreciate again that we remain close to the common hepatic artery, the hepatic artery proper, the left hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery and the jaws definitely help in dissection and if we are working close to the adventitia, tunica adventitia, it becomes a avascular dissection. Placed into the pre-placed endo bag, working into the retro portal vein area, dissection has been done and the common bile, the, the fibro fatty tissue and the lymph nodes close to the common bile duct, cystic duct, portal vein and the fibro fatty tissue all have been taken off with the help of the energy source that is harmonic. And one should definitely try one's best not to injure these vascular and ductal structures and the duodenum and the superior margin of the pancreas. One should be very, very careful in dissecting uh, the fibro fatty tissue all around. Once the all the tissue has been taken care of, then next step is to do the wedge resection of the liver. And the wedge resection of the liver can be both non-anatomic or anatomic. Non-anatomic would mean that we remain 2 centimeters away from the gallbladder fossa and take the wedge of the 
liver out. In this situation, because the cystic duct margin was free of tumor, so we did not go in for resection of the extra hepatic portion of common hepatic duct and the common bile duct. One can appreciate the anatomy well in this situation. One can see even the portal vein branches also. Now, in order to do the step two, that means wedge, non anatomic wedge resection of the liver, we place sutures, uh, vicral suture, as a retracting sutures. That means U type of sutures, one on the left side of the gallbladder fossa, another on the right side of the gallbladder fossa. In order to retract the margin, of the liver, we take monofilament nylon laterally onto the margin of the liver and take the needle out into the subcostal region so that one is able to retract the liver margin on both the sides, that means medially as well as laterally. The scoring of the liver surface is done with the help of harmonic HD1000I making sure that we are 2 centimeters away from the gallbladder fossa which ha gallbladder had been taken out previously. When we are going posteriorly endeavor is that we should remain quite high up from the ruvial circus so that we do not cause any injury to the ductal and vascular structures in the ruvial circus. Again, the trick of liver resection with the help of only harmonic is that one should remain perpendicular to the liver surface. We should not come closer to the gallbladder fossa, closer than 2 centimeters, and maintaining hemostasis step by step. One can use the CUSA for, and even laparoscopic CUSA for doing the liver resection, but we are comfortable with harmonic HD1000I. The liver is being retracted and then it is being dissected. The wedge resection is being done in a non-anatomic fashion. There are pros and cons of both anatomic and non-anatomic dissection of the liver. The chances of biliary leak should be minimized and the bleeding, the hemostasis should be maintained well with both the dissections. Now one can appreciate the anatomy. The falciform ligament is also excised and sent for histopathology along with the fibro fatty tissue. After maintaining a good hemostasis, fibrillar is placed in the liver bed and the drain is placed, 28 French tube drain is placed in the subhepatic space. One can deliver the liver through the supra umbilical extension of the incision in totality and all the fibro fatty tissue is also taken care of. The biopsy in this situation revealed that there was no residual tumor behind and the patient has done well, discharged on day 4 of the surgery. Thank you very much for your attention.